Now we're the best of friends, and you know what? Just to continue my Monstermon collection, since I have a free pass, I'm stealing Cindy's Monstermon card. What's mine is hers, and what's hers is mine, am I right, fellas? Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing some more Kindergarten. If you enjoy Kindergarten and you want to see some more of it, be sure to hit that like button or leave me a comment down below telling me how awesome it would be to go to a school like this. Come on, who's with me? So, uh, last time we kind of just dabbled in a bunch of different things, collected a bunch of uh, Monster Mon cards. Got ourselves a nice little deck going here. Take a look at that deck, eh? It was all fun and stuff, but I'm, I want to go for some of these. Some of these bad boys up here. So we're going to try and do some of the characters' full stories and try and figure out how to do them properly. The way you're supposed to, I guess. Sounds fun, doesn't it? So I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. Oh, I almost forgot. How could I forget such a thing like this? We hit 500 subscribers on the channel. I was so close for so long that I really didn't think that it was going to be that different once I hit it. But I don't know, something about seeing that 500 and just knowing that, oh, what was it, like a month or so ago, I was at five? That's, that's quite a large jump, and I, I can only thank you guys once again. And to celebrate the 500 subscribers, what I'm gonna do is I'm going... I'm gonna regret saying this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a video and release one every single day for the week. That's right, starting today all the way till next week's today. So I hope you guys enjoy that. There's gonna be a mix of all different kinds of things, and of course... Stay tuned for one of your guys' favorites, Car Mechanic Simulator. Can I get a whoop whoop? All right, enough talking. A little Jimmy or Timmy or whatever the hell his name is. He's probably getting bored. So I think what we're gonna try to do today is Cindy's story because she was fun. You know, we played house and had oodles and oodles of fun. So we got, <coughs> we got attacked by a frog. <clears throat> so we got the gum. Now we just need to get a pill. To get the pill, we have to ask what happened to Billy, and we'll get the pill. Ooh, this is different. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing, and uh, tried to force him to tell me, and he said, The principal was forbidden me from speaking about it, and if you press me any further, I'll report you to him. I'm pressing. I need to know. No, you don't. Enjoy your trip to the pr <laughs> Enjoy your trip to the principal's office. Whatever, nugget. Uh-oh. The principal just called me. How did that happen? Boingo. Things happen so fucking quickly. That was like light speed. The principal just called me. He wants to see you in his office. What did you do to this? <laughs> to what did you and this little weirdo do? God damn, I can't read. Well, get going then. The principal is an impatient man. So, I've been told that you're feeling sad about Billy. Who told you that? Oh, you know, we're just, uh gets around, you know. I've never met the principal before. How's it going, man? There's a little blood under your carpet there. Don't know if you noticed that. I like your dual-wielding pistols that you got in the case there. Don't think that's something you should have at a school, but I mean, you know, it's your school. And you know, there's probably worse around here. <clears throat> so anyway, word gets around. It doesn't matter how I know, it's that I do know. I'm not sad about Billy. You're not? Then why are you so interested in his disappearance? Were you listening to my conversation with Nugget? What? No. You shouldn't accuse authority figures of eavesdropping. I know what I know, because I'm the principal. Got it? Okay, sir. It's becoming increasingly clear that Billy's disappearance has greatly affected you. I want you to take these. They've helped Nugget immensely. You're giving me pills? Don't think of them as drugs. Think of them as portable therapy to help you cope with your feelings. Okay... Take what? Right now. Uh, no, I haven't eaten anything, you know, I shouldn't take this medication on an empty stomach. Take it or there will be consequences. Are oh, you gonna shoot me with those guns? I kinda wanna see that. Nope. And you leave me no choice, I can't risk you getting too close to this. What does that mean? Oh, he's got the pistol. And there it is. 
point blank, right, right between the eyeballs. <laughs> maybe, maybe take a pill next time. <laughs> All right, fine, I guess. If I have to force the little child to take pills, let's do it. Okay, there you go. Isn't that better? How do you feel now? I feel good. <laughs> Excellent. I also want you to hold on to this for me. It's a little gadget, but don't worry about what it does. I, I can I can do that. Good. Now go head back to class and try not to think about Billy too much. All right. Um I'll go to class. Welcome back. I'm high. I hope everything turned out okay with the principal. You know what? Now that I've been taking these pills, it's even more crazy to watch the bug. Oh. I know that tone of voice. The principal gave you some of those special pills, didn't he? <laughs> you wouldn't mind if I had one, would you? Well, I don't seem to have a choice, so go right ahead. Good boy, gulp. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for that. Go on, enjoy the rest of your morning time. I know I will. Sweet! I can just do whatever I want now? Now is she gonna catch me if I do this shit? Ah. Uh. Wait, what? Well, she said do what you want. I thought it was the generic message, but it, it wasn't. This is Lily's cubby. There's a magnifying glass in here. She's probably using it to look for clues about her missing brother. Take it. What's this? This is Bug's cubby. That's a knife. Getting caught with this would get me in serious trouble. I'm gonna leave the knife for now. How much money is this? Monty's cubby naturally has money in it. Doesn't say how much though. And a Monster Mon card. Ooh, Cindy. Might have to steal your Monster Mon card, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna leave it for now. I think Monty wanted uh, the magnifying glass. We still have time to do the Cindy thing as well. And I do have pills in case she wants to take one. Who was it that wanted the magnifying glass? <laughs> you have taken the pills of peace. He said he sees in my eyes, he knows that I've taken the pills. Nugget is glad to know he is not the only one. We should be friends. Okay. Wonderful. Take the nugget of friendship. What's it do? It symbolizes our new friendship. Okay, I still haven't figured out what to do with the nugget. Who wanted the magnifying glass? Was it you? Let's do it. Take that. Take the gum. In your hair. That's right. In your hair. Boston style. In your hair. I put it in your hair. Get out of here with your hair. Did you just... Oh, uh, you put it in my hair? Yes, I did. Now cry. Cry! <laughs> These drugs have turned me into a maniac. I love morning time. I love morning time. Morning time. Morning time. Okay, Cindy, I did it. She cried. Meet you at the dollhouse, babe. Honey, I might not be drunk, but I'm high. Welcome home, husband. Thank you. What a, what a nice welcome. Um, you know what? We caused so much shit last time. Let's just, yes, dear. And after that, I need you to, oh, she's gonna bait me for drinking either way. Okay. No, let's deny it. Because it's not true. Is that a breathalyzer? Alright. I'll take the test. Let's do it. What? This is bullshit. How could I have blown a .32? That's ridiculous. This kid would be wasted. How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How can you be a father when you can't even take care of yourself? Also, this is where she lets me know about the unborn child. Oh, yes, and it's not mine either. You cheated on me? It was only one time with Jerome, remember? Don't worry. We can get through this. You... <laughs> no, you filthy whore. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I do, I do. Wow, alcoholism aside, you really are a great guy. So what should we do about the baby? Abort it? Oh my god. I don't even know. How, how would Cindy react to either of these? I think she might secretly want... I don't know. I know she wants the pills. If I say abort it, is she gonna take a pill to try and abort it? Or what? Um, keep it. That's so wonderful that you would do that. Thank you. No problem. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. All right. Great. I'll see you then. Now we're the best of friends. And you know what? Just to continue my Monstermon collection, since I have a free pass, 
I'm stealing Cindy's Monster Mon card. Because what's my what's mine is hers, and what's hers is mine, am I right, fellas? <laughs> okay, kids. <laughs> Let's go to lunch. This is this is getting going too far for a child's game. All right, so let's see what Cindy can do for us here at lunchtime. Hello. Saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have a nugget. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can give her the meatball now that she likes me. Hey, old man, I'll, I'll do you a favor. Okay, I'll take one. Let's, let's do it. I want to give Cindy one. See what happens. Oh, Cindy. <laughs> I have this thing. Oh, I just ate it myself, I think. Oh, why did I do that? I want to restart the room. I'm going to throw up. I ate it. No. Why? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, good. I was just thinking about, oh, darn it. My super mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Hey, sweetie, would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Oh, yeah, you know. Like, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good, so just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. Gotcha. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to pay another dollar, because <laughs> I accidentally ate one. I, wait, what? I can't get another one? Not yet. Fuck! Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna restart the room. I don't wanna, I don't wanna eat it. I don't want to eat it. I'll eat, I'll eat Nugget's Nugget. <laughs> See what happens if I eat Nuggets Nugget. Now she wants a meal. <laughs> and I ate Nuggets Nugget. Alright, I'll go get you something vegan. Here we go. Now go give it to that Cindy girl. Okie dokie. What happens if I talk to Nugget now that I ate his Nugget? Nugget does not have any friends. Okay, okay. same thing as always. So he doesn't know that I ate his Nugget. That's, that's good. What did you get me? This thing! That's vegan? Are you sure? Yep. Um, okay, I trust you. Oh, she ate it now. Ha <laughs> ha! I restarted the room, so technically I haven't eaten it. You ate it. Kind of reminds me of my dog in a weird way. Oh god, it's her dog. Oh, that's why he wanted her to eat it. I can't place it. Thank you so much for getting this for me. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. Yikes. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum, but maybe you could put something else in there. What do you mean? Jerome was telling me how the janitor has all sorts of, uh, all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Oh, don't you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. Oh my god, she has the key. I'm going to head over and pay off the lunch lady so you can get going on down to that nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Oh, that silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. So he has cigarettes, so maybe if I have cigarettes and I do get baited by him at lunch, I can give him cigarettes to leave me alone. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this! Thank you for paying my fucking way out, because I, I wasn't about to. You're good to go. Hurry back. Alright. Thank you, lunch lady. What? I thought I got that card. Maybe it just resets and it's there every time. I'm going to be kind of upset if I didn't. Oh, that's, that's not where I want to go. I want to go in here. Unlock the door then, little Jimmy. Okay, so I assume this is what they want me to get. Because, yeah, it'd be a terrible thing to dump on someone's head. So we're going to dump that blood on Lily's head, which is probably her brother's blood, because that looks a little larger than a dog. Although, judging by Jimmy's side, that looks a little... <laughs> A little larger than a little boy as well, so I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a combination of both of them? Not not quite sure. Not sure why a pirate sword is needed by a janitor, or what looks like a gun. Those those shears, scissory things look, look right though. I really want to figure out what this plant is for. I can't imagine it just sits there and does nothing. I can't diddle with any of this. Oh, I can look! Ooh, yes, 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 yes. 
I wanted to see what this note is. I know I, I, I said I was going to do Cindy, and then here we are. This game just takes me wherever it takes me. There's there's not really much I can do about it. Um, We're going to take the note. But I can't read it because I'm in kindergarten. Oh, bummer. Well, let's get the hell out of here. But now we have the note. Can't click it. But maybe I can show it in show and tell. And then an adult will read it. These are these are things. These are things. Thoughts and things. Ah uh, yes. The runny slops. Everything seems normal. I'm ready. Well, what did you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh my god, it's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind. I don't want, I don't want to know. Me either. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. Oh my god, this is terrible. I thought putting gum in her hair was bad. Now we're climbed up on the monkey bars. We're gonna just throw blood on her. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. Oh, sorry. Cindy just called her over. I didn't read it. I was in my own world. I'm not gonna harass you. We can just be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Attack! Get her with the- Oh, I could throw it on Cindy's head. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> Take that! It was all a setup! <laughs> oh man, I might have to restart this room. <laughs> What's going on? Cindy, come back. Don't go running into the street. You'll get hit by a... I keep telling the principal we need to put a fence there. Sheesh. <laughs> Cindy got hit by a car. What? <laughs> okay, children. There's been an accident that I don't want to get blamed for. We're going to cut recess a little short today. Everyone head inside. Whoops, looks like there's no restarting the room. Oh, I guess I could do it here. Come down from there. I'd like to have a little chat with you before we go back inside. Hmm, I kind of don't want to restart the room now. This is interesting. But Jugga Jugga wants to have a chat. What is this? This is Cindy's shoe. It's a little bloody, but she probably would have wanted me to have it or something. I'll take it. Why not? All right, we got her shoe. I don't know why that's important, but we got it. Okay, thank you so much for doing that. What? You're thanking me for killing Cindy? Oh, yes, indeedy I am. Do you know how long <laughs> I wanted that little snot dead? I tried poisoning her once, but apparently poison isn't vegan enough for her. <laughs> she doesn't know what vegan means. I know, that girl could only be dumber if her parents were siblings. Oh my god, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? I want you to have this gold star for doing the world a favor. Just don't tell anyone how you got it. Sure. Also, as a special treat, since there was blood involved and I got to watch, here's a Monster Mon card. <laughs> what? This teacher is just so fucked. <laughs> oh my god. I need a minute. I need to process this. Bungie, bungie, bungie. Oh fuck, that's messed up, but thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now let's head back inside for show and tell. Look at my inventory. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? Fuck, what didn't I bring is the question because, you know, I don't see a kitchen sink in here, but that's a that's kind of a given. Nobody ever brings that apparently. I brought Cindy's shoe. I brought the dead girl's shoe. <laughs> I have claimed it as my trophy. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm showing the note. <clears throat> it's a little note. Let's see what it says. Yes, tell me. Oh, it appears to be a recipe of some sort. Oh dear god, the janitor is eating Cindy's dog. 
But now that I think about it, it's probably better for you kids than that hideous slop they normally serve. What's in the slop if eating Cindy's dog is better for us? Anyway, who's next? So that's what the note said. It was just a recipe for how the uh, janitor's making his little, his little biscuit balls. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. There's the bell. Hope you all had a fun day today, and I'll see you tomorrow. So what's the point of getting Cindy's shoe there? Was I supposed to show Cindy's shoe? Because there's not much else you're going to have a chance to do with that. You get it pretty late in the day. So I got Freezy Guy Jim and Really Bright Star. I mean, if anything, I'm going to collect all the Monster Mon cards. That's for damn sure. So that's it, folks. If you guys want to see more Kindergarten in the future, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment. It's all right there below the video. You see it? It's right there. It's down there. You got it. Good. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you're feeling friendly. And I hate losing stuff at school. You know. My pens, papers, life ambitions. Take her easy. Hey old man, I'll I'll do you a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and like subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>